it's going down to do the scrapping. Scrapping sound on. What's going on right now, man? Why is he, why, why is that guy not backing off? You're beating him up, right? You're beating him up, right? No, you're not. Ah! Ah! Boom, just like that. You're laid out and your whole like, hopefully life has changed. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you see things differently, right? What just happened there? This video is an oldie, but a goodie. Byron Rogers, Tactical Protection Review, Learn Protection Strategies from a Protection Professional. Uh, let's get the replay, the rewind on that. And let's see if we can kind of diagnose this so it doesn't happen to any of us out here on the street. First thing I always like to say is, you know, uh, dangerous society is a polite society, but you know, we don't really have a dangerous society anymore. So we got all these guys that think they're tough and they've never really been in a fight and they don't own mouthpieces and stuff uh, out there in the world, you know, and, 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 you know, a lot of people need to learn a lesson to be completely honest with you. But the reality is the ability to gauge an actual dangerous person is mad depleted. And that's one of the reasons I make educational content like this is so that, you know, if you're not someone who's acquainted with violence, like most good people and you're just going to work trying to be normal you're actually you know i can i can help you with these videos uh and share them with people let's make the world a safer place by helping good people to become more dangerous right um being harmless isn't good it just makes you a good victim right good people can stand for what's right stand for what's righteous defend what's right and um hold off the wolf and kill the wolf find the wolf anyways so mall confrontation you're in a confrontation with someone right you gotta be paying attention to a lot of things and taking in and recognizing the right behavior okay so that's the first thing lead with respect always be respectful because any this is a this is a principle anyone can kill you i'm a pretty i'm a dude i train all the time i protect people every single day but i move with a principle at work at all times which is always lead with respect Anyone can kill you. This will keep you out of so much trouble in the first place, right? So lead with respect. Anyone can kill you. If you're going to fight, do not fight. End the fight. Violence is a race to cause catastrophic damage, the most damage. And these two individuals were engaged in um, a type of violence that I don't think has a place very often in our society anymore. In my opinion, this was more sport violence. This was more like machismo violence. Like there was a time when this was uh, absolutely acceptable when two men could get into a confrontation and be like, hey, okay, let's go out back and let's 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 solve this. And they're not trying to kill each other. They just want to beat, someone wants to beat someone up and establish dominance. Um, and then the two guys would like get done and um, there was man code and like they might even become friends afterwards if it was a good fight. Like, man, you got me. Like, you know what I mean? Like respect would be established, right? In today's society, I've got a million videos of kids that get in scraps, and then after one wins, the other one shoots the other one. Uh, kids, people are suing everyone. There's no more honor left in the world. So this kind of sport violence that we used to be able to indulge in, um, it's completely out of the question, right? So lead with respect. If you're gonna fight, I don't care if it's an old lady, you fight like it's Mike Tyson because anybody can kill you, right? So when you know that and you're moving through the world that way, um, you avoid a lot of things. Okay, so we got uh, uh, we got like kind of hipster department store guy throwing punches. Okay, he's doing the best he can. He's throwing those, throwing those punches. He's got, you've got to realize if you don't fight or if you don't have any training, you're not going to be able to pick up the subtleties I'll talk about, but there's an energy to this. One guy's struggling and the other guy is cool, calm, collected, and calculated. Some talk about the, the parable of the pit bull versus the cobra, where the pit bull is always barking and aggressive, and even if he bites you, it sucks, you know? But the cobra, when he strikes, it's over. By the time you realize it, it's over. You're already poisoned, boom, done, or the scorpion, right? So you just notice the two energies, right? If you're ever going to get into a fight with someone and they are not scared at all, and I don't mean like, I'm not scared of you, man. I mean, they are calm, and they're just talking to you. They're like, you know, they don't want to fight, but they're also like, and they're 100% grounded and centered. That's the guy you don't want to fight, okay? So what you see here is the two energies. You see the guy trying really hard. This guy's got no idea what he's doing. 
right? You see the other guy who's, who's methodical, he has tools that are working. He's blocking this guy and he's keeping him at a distance. He has tools that are effective, that are working. Okay, you can still walk away, black shirt guy. Now look at this, switch up of hands, switch up of feet, right? And he looks down, he looks down at the guy's feet. He's understanding his body language, he's understanding that guy's positioning. He is just about in position to throw his strike right about there to throw his kick. And then the guy disrupts it a little bit. He is still calculating. You have to be able to pick up on that cool, calm, calculated um, um, individual. That's the one you should fear. Now, really what this guy is doing is he's probably got a kickboxing background. He's getting his space and timing is right is what he's doing. And he's just kind of trying to keep this guy a black shirt guy. White shirt dude's trying to keep black shirt dude involved. He's trying to keep him coming. He's looking at his feet again. He's looking at his feet again. He's getting ready. He's getting his timing. He's getting his space established. He's backing up. He looks like he's faking beta. One of my favorite things to do. I'll, I'm, 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 I'm very, very uh, guilty of this. When I fake beta, it either ends an altercation or it sets me up for an ambush, right? So he's kind of faking beta. He's acting like he's getting beat up a little bit. He's backing up a little bit and he's setting him up for the razzle dazzle Boom, this guy, the black shirt dude leaves his entire body open, hands are down, he has no idea what he's doing, he doesn't know how to fight. White hat dude knows that, he sees it coming, he, he sets him up for the slam dunk. Boom, spinning back kick to the face, easy target, easy victim. Um, and white shirt dude, unless he was trying to steal or something like that, probably wrote the report before the altercation, which is what we do as protectors, we look all the way through the equation. We write the report before it starts. Hey, this guy was attacking me. I was in fear for my life. Um, I was trying to get away. He kept following me. He kept beating me up. I couldn't get away. And so, unfortunately, I felt like I was forced to defend myself. Boom, that's the way you do it, man. Byron Rogers, Tactical Protection Review. Learn protection strategies from a protection professional. Train with us in the comfort of your own home. Go to protectorsymposium.com. Uh, go to the link in my bio, uh, like, subscribe, you know, we, we got to beat the algorithms on these things. Don't miss a video. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next free piece of content or training with you at the next Protector Symposium, y'all. Byron Rogers, protected by nature and by trade. Out. Boom!